recommendation from our institution. Today, I'm going to show you how to manage enterprise health and information in Oracle Fusion. The Manage Enterprise HCM Information tab includes the default settings for your enterprise, such as the employment model, worker number generation, and so on. Workday Information The Workday Information defines the standard working hours for each worker assignment in the enterprise or lady employer. The workday information can also be defined at position level and department level. In any assignment, standard working hours are inherited from one of the entities. The order of preference would be position, department, legal employer, and then enterprise. Worker number generation. Every person record in the enterprise has a person number. In addition, you can allocate worker number to employee and contingent worker work relationship. Worker numbers are optional. They are provided primarily for the EBS customers who have used employee and contingent worker numbers and want to continue using them. By default, the worker numbers are not used. You can enable worker number at the enterprise and legal employer level. If you enable worker number, then each employee and contingent worker work relationship must have a worker number. If you do not enable worker number, then they cannot be used. You have the option to generate the worker number manually or automatically. If you select manual generation, then you are recommended to define a numbering scheme so, to suit your local requirement. If you select automatic worker generation, then numbers can be allocated from either an enterprise sequence or a legal employer sequence. If you use a legal employer sequence, then worker numbers are not guaranteed to be unique in the enterprise level. Also, they cannot be transferred outside the legal employer. If your worker leaves the enterprise and later starts a work relationship of the same type with a different legal employer, then a new number is allocated. Employment model By default, Every enterprise uses the two-tier single assignment employment model. You can select a different employment model for the enterprise or for individual legal employer. This topic is covered in depth in my article Employment Model in Oracle Fusion HCM in Astro Fusion Portal. Global Person Name Language Each enterprise identifies a global name language. Person names appear in this language by default. User can set preferences to set the language in which they see the display name version of person name. If you do not enter the local name in the person record, the local name is the same as in the global name. User and role provisioning information. The user and role provisioning attributes control whether users are given access to Oracle Fusion application. Then they gain access, how user accounts are created and maintained, and who is notified when a user account is created. User account creation. There are three options to create user account. Option one is both person and party users. 
User accounts are created automatically for both person and party user. This value is the default setting. The next one is none. No user accounts are created automatically when you choose this option. The last one is party user only. User accounts are created automatically for party users only. User accounts are not created automatically when you create HCM person record. Send username and password. If send username and password is set to yes, then the usernames and passwords for the new OIM user account are sent automatically to the alternate contact email. If you specify no alternate contact email, then the username and password for your user are sent to their user's primary work email. If the user has no primary work email, then the username and password will be sent to the primary work email of the user's line manager. If you set sender username and password to no, then no emails are sent to the alternate contact email or no email will be sent to the user or the user's line manager. User account role provision. Once a user account exists, roles are provisioned to users or removed from them as specified by current role provisioning rule. You have three options for this. Option 1, both person and party users. Roles are provisioned and deprovisioned for both person and party user, this value is the default setting. The next one is party user only. The roles are provision and deprovisions for party users only. For the HCM user, role requests are held in the LJAP request table, where they are identified as suppressed and not passed to OIM. The last one is the none option. For both person and party user, role requests are held in the LJAP request table. User account maintenance. It's the same like in user account role provisioning. You have three options here. The user account maintenance options control whether OIM user accounts are maintained or suspended and reactivated automatically. By default, user accounts are suspended automatically when the user has no roles and reactivated when the roles are provisioned. There are three options in the user account maintenance. The first option, both person and party user. User accounts are maintained automatically for both person and party user. The second option, party user only, where the user accounts are Maintain automatically only for party users. In none, user accounts are not maintained automatically. The alternate contact email address is an enterprise wide email to which username and password for OIM user account can be sent. Thanks for watching this video. This is Jay Shea from Apps to Fusion. In my next video, I'm going to show how to manage legal addresses and manage legal entity. If you would like to learn more on Oracle Fusion HCM, please subscribe to our channel to check out our upcoming videos. Thank you.